Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. As part of this channel's participation in the celebration of the 500 years of Magellan's arrival in the Philippines and the first circumnavigation of the globe, we will present different videos that will feature various genealogies related to the Spanish arrival and eventual conquest of the Philippines. In today's episode, we celebrate the name of the man responsible for the defeat of Magellan. Today, 500 years ago, the Battle of Mactan took place. In this historic event, the locals, led by Lapu Lapu, emerged victorious. And, because of this, Spanish colonialism was delayed for a few years. And the name Lapu Lapu would forever be equated with victory. Lapu Lapu enters our history as written by Antonio Pigafetta, as C. Lapu Lapu. For years, there had been debates as to his actual name. Finally, most experts agreed that the C in his name actually stood for Shri, a South Asian word, a title of respect, used before the name as an honorific. In 2019, the National Quincentennial Committee, the body tasked to lead government preparations for the 500th anniversary of the victory of Filipinos, led by Lapu Lapu in the Battle of Mactan, and other related events in 1521, declared that Lapu Lapu should be spelled without a hyphen. Most historians say that Lapu Lapu's name defies definition, that no one really knows where it comes from. One theory is that is derived from a cave near Bogo. Spu, known by locals as La Paz La Paz, which means, a hole that penetrates through and through. According to an old Cebuano dictionary, the word La Paz, means to penetrate from one part to another with a sword, or a lance. As a family name, Lapu Lapu, is one of the least populous last names, in the Philippines. It is not in the Catalogo, and is carried, by only 391 people, in the country. That means, just 0.00037% of people, carry it as a surname. It is found in only 116 cities, and municipalities, with Sbu, Surigao del Norte, Zambanga del Sur, Misamis Oriental, and Bahol having the most number of Lapu Lapus. As we celebrate today, the victory of Lapu Lapu, 500 years ago, let us reflect on how much we, as a nation, have marched through history. So that's it for today's episode. Please continue to share, and we would appreciate a subscription, so we can make more videos on Filipino genealogy. Thank you for watching, and stay safe always. Goodbye.